Make sure you download my free technique program. It's a program that identifies what is holding you back from reaching speed. That's alien technique number three. Um, what I do here again is I do that kind of a cross hand technique. I kind of act like I have uh, an alien hand, a uh, fretting hand, when I play pull-offs here on the other side of the fretting hand. And then I even do it again where I cross the hands the second time and do hammer-ons here. So I tap with all four fingers here, plus do three hammer-ons here on the other hand. So it's kind of the, the role of each hand kind of gets switched around here. It's really uh, an interesting um, uh, technique and it opens up some some um, it gives you some opportunities that I wouldn't have done in this particular way. Of course, you can always, in theory anyway, come up with, oh yeah, then you could do it like this and this, but that's bullshit because you would get another sound and then you would have to use another technique. So don't try to, in this situation anyway, don't try to find another way, unless you want to do it to come up with something new that works for you. But um, don't do it as an excuse if you think this technique is interesting and you want to work with it, do it because it can inspire you to do new stuff that you wouldn't have done uh, in any other way. Um, so if you're interested in this stuff like this, um, quite advanced, I would definitely say, but in a musical way, you should also check out my new program, Guitar Extravaganza. Um, what's interesting about this program is that uh, if you haven't seen my previous few videos, uh, I want to talk about it again a little bit here. Um, the interesting thing about it is that you played in a musical context, you played within songs, it's music composed using some of these techniques and it's not just backing tracks composed so that you have something to play to, it's actually real pieces of music it's actually real compositions, uh, you know, with intros and verse and chorus and stuff like that, that I would, um, that is, that is composed for its own sake, for the music's sake, and not as a something that where you can train your technique. The other awesome thing about that is that you don't, um, I should say one more thing here is often to develop a very advanced technique, uh, you can't really escape the fact that you have to do a lot of repetitions and this intimidates a lot of people and they don't want to do it because they think it's boring. But the amazing thing about this system is that you do all these repetitions without really thinking about them because they're in a musical context. You play it with a piece of music because you're playing a song and then almost by happenstance uh, you, uh, this, these techniques are worked into this, these songs, so um, that's really so it makes it makes it fun, you know, to practice uh, uh, practice this stuff. And, and it's not like it's not like yeah, then you can play it when you practice the drills for five million times. Uh, then you can play it with this song. That's not the fact here because the songs, the advanced songs anyway, um, are uh, created so that you have them. Uh, the backing tracks in several different tempos. Um, other than that, yeah, so you should grab the opportunity now, the opportunity now because it's I have a, a kind of a cool offer at this moment. But um, if if also you can you can click the link under the video and see. But you can also click another of the links under the video here to get the temperature for this, just to make sure you get everything right. Uh, so make sure you do that and um, but let me show you the technique up close here so it's a c-sharp minor i tap these two these two notes then i do the pull-offs uh, in the tapping and then also in the on the high e string on the um in the arpeggio when i do that i go down here with the other hand and this other hand works as pull, pulling off as a fretting hand that is pulling off on the ninth and seventh fret. So once I've pulled off in this hand, the fretting hand, 
I'll do a few extra pull-offs here with the other hand. That's the reason for the uh, cross hands. Uh, then what I do is I uh, enter into a new arpeggio, in this case a C-sharp major. So I get back into the sweep picking technique from here. Um, I go into the C-sharp next inversion. When I get to the top of that, I play some 8-finger tapping. After doing those uh, taps here in the tapping hand, I go up with the other hand and do a few hammer-ons again. Pull off and I rearrange my index finger so that I can go into this A sharp or B flat minor. Once I reach into the low E string with my pinky, I slide into the previous uh, B flat inversion, but using this not so typical uh, shape, since I'm using my low E uh, with the pinky. Once I hit the high E string, uh, I tap the 21st and I bend the note. The fretting hand is what's bending, it's not the tapping hand, it just plays the note. So it's kind of a standard bend, but the note that is played is the C sharp. And then I tap with the next note, the D sharp. So that's the full lick. Um, and as I said before, uh, click the link under the video either to check out the new program and the offer or to download the backing track. Uh, sorry, the tablature. Subscribe to my channel.